Talk to, talk to, talk to Money Man. Big Manny. <laughs> Uh, what's up Clint? good evening good evening thank you for your time let's get started with a question from i think sarah had a question okay from sarah spencer i did sorry the raise hand thing messed up um clint i asked john this too but what changed in in the fourth quarter and carried over to overtime to allow you guys to to come back and get this win yeah, I feel that uh, shots start falling. Uh, I feel that defensively we were we were way better, and uh, we we're making shots. So from this point, it's it's another game. Career high in rebounds for you. Do you feel like you're starting to to hit your stride? I know I know you were a little slow to start the season physically, but do you feel like you're starting to hit your stride? Yeah, I feel that I'm getting better. Getting better. <laughs> Uh, next question from Terrell Thomas. Clint, uh, you've done something tonight that we haven't seen since 2004. So nearly. Uh, what? 2004? Since 2004. 25 points, uh, over 25 rebounds and five blocks. What got into you tonight? What what, what was it about you on, on both ends of the court? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you had 11 or 12 offensive rebounds, a double-double in the first half. What what, what got into you tonight? Uh, try to be a presence. Uh, every time I see the ball go up, I uh, put myself in a position uh, to get the rebound. Uh, it's time. I uh, see the opposite team get into my pain. I try to protect my rim uh, and over and over. I'm just trying to do over and over. That, that's what I do. And that's why I said whenever I first came in, this, that this is what I do. So uh, I just I just did it multiple times tonight. And uh, I plan on keep having that, that kind of presence, uh, rebounds and block shots. Thank you. Kevin Shinar from Hawks.com. Hey, Clint. Uh, it seems like coach is deliberately trying to get you and John on the court together a lot for defensive purposes. What changes when there are two bigs on the court defending instead of one? It's huge. I mean, uh, they don't, they don't want to get into that. It's not, it's, it's way harder for them to get into that pain, uh, that pain. So, uh, uh, JC's there, uh, can block shots. I'm there. Uh, so it's, it's a big challenge for the opposing team and, uh, we, we've proved it. So, uh, uh, I think that that's that's a pretty good choice by coach to do that. <laughs> We've got just a few more. Uh, Raphael Haynes. Hey, Clint. Uh, Raphael from the Three Point Conversion. Great game tonight. Clint, you've been in the league for six seasons, and when you look back a couple of weeks ago, the film room situation with the Hawks, then the games that you you know you couldn't get over the teams that people felt like you should have beaten. But now you have a game where you're shorthanded. Everybody plays great collectively, defensively, offensively, and you come from behind. Is, that, is this that type of win that can push you all forward and give you all confidence, not just for the next game, but throughout the season? Yeah, that's the kind of game that tells us, hey, doesn't matter if we're shorthanded or not. We go out there and, and, and play, compete. And I feel that that's what, that's, that was the mindset tonight. Uh, we kept competing even if we were down 17. Uh, we knew that the game wasn't over. Uh, and we got the guys went off, Trey went off, uh, JC uh, stopped defensively. I was there and finishing at the rim. So I think that was our mindset. Uh, uh, it happens. It's a long season. Uh, we, we know that it, this is what happened. Guys might go down, next ne next guy up. That's, that's our mentality. And um, we proved it tonight by, by competing really hard. And, and now on, on to the next game. Keep fighting. Thanks. Got three more, Clint. Uh, Cassidy from Hawks.com. Hey, Clint. When you guys get in stretches where you're down 10 or 15 points, you still seem to have your motor going and you're not getting down. What is it that keeps you going and how you're able to keep running the floor when you guys are down in those stretches? I think, yeah, this, that's the mindset that we have. Uh, just like I said, uh, as, as long as we have the mindset to compete, uh, it doesn't matter if we're down or up. We, we really, uh, our goal is to, to try to keep playing. Uh, we're a young team. Uh, we have a lot of energy. We have a lot of guys that they can come in and make a difference. And uh, 
this, this is our mindset. So for my part, when I'm in, I'm just trying to get for every rebound, every block, and uh, every rim run, every finishes at the rim, and uh, as much as I can. Thank you. Jimmy, you dominating. <laughs> dominating, basically. Hey, Clint. Um, Coach Pierce said the best part of tonight was that after the game, after OT game, you and John were still in the gym kind of working out and lifting weights. Is that something you guys do every post game? Is that something also that can help build that kind of camaraderie? Yeah, yeah. that's that's the routine that we have. Uh, after after every game, me and John, we, we go go weight room. So uh, this this is our routine, and uh, this is uh, him and me bonding, and this has been pretty good. And uh, we want to keep it that way. Our final question of the night will come from Edwin Powell with Hawkspeed. Clint, I saw immediately after the game, coach was kind of pounding you on the chest and it uh, looked like he was sharing some words of encouragement. Uh, is there any way you can share some of the things he was saying to you? That um, I was, yeah, that I was huge tonight, that um, got to keep going like that, uh, that I can be an all-star uh, uh, playing like that. So uh, by, by basing like that, by dominating, and uh, that's the kind of words that, uh, you, you love to hear from a coach. And uh, that's that's the kind of thing when I hear it, uh, right after I just want to go to weight room and get more work done and be ready to compete for the next game. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Clint. <laughs>